Hello mathematicians, this video is going to be on the distributive property. I'm going to do a quick example before I get into talking about exactly what the distributive property is. Um, so we see this expression here on the left, um, 2 and then in parentheses 4 plus 6. So we know by our order of operations, remember PEMDAS, that we need to uh, find the sum of what's in the parentheses here first. So we take 4 plus 6. That equals 10. We have to do that first, and then we can multiply that by 2, because that's what's on the outside of the parentheses. Right? And now we know that 2 times 10 is 20. Now, where the distributive property comes into play here, that we know that or the distributive property tells us that we can distribute this 2n to the 4, and then also into the 6 right here. Okay? So that tells us is that following these, these color-coded arrows here, 2 times 4 equals 8. And 2 times 6 equals 12. Now we see that these two expressions... This one on the left right here, this one on the right, are equivalent to each other. They're equal to each other according to the, according to the distributive property because we distributed that 2 through into both of them. And now we see we know that 8 plus 12 is going to give us 20. So there's our answer. We see that, that we can distribute this number in front of the parentheses to find our answer. I'm going to go through three quick examples um, of kind of a way to organize this process other than the arrows. If you like the arrows, you can do that too. But uh, let's give these just a quick little, little try here. Okay, so enter the missing values in the area model to find two and in parentheses 2v plus 5. Okay, so we have 8 right here and this comes from right on the left side of the parentheses and we have 2v which comes from the first term inside the parentheses and plus 5 which is the second term in the parentheses okay so this is an area model so we know that the the area of a rectangle is length times width all right so it uh, doesn't matter which one is which okay so we know that the area of this little rectangle here, and then I'm outlining here, divided by the blue right here, so from the blue on over to the left, is the same as 2 times v. 2 times v. Well, what's 2 times v? 2 times v is going to give us 16v. 16v. So we just keep that coefficient. Um, and we multiply the... the the constant we multiply this 8 and the coefficient to get 16 and we just keep that v and we know that the area of this square right here from this blue line over to the right is going to be 8 times 5 and that equals 40. Okay so that equals 40. So we see now 16v plus 40 we can combine them they are not like terms so our answer is going to be 16v plus 40. Plus 40. Okay. So again, we find the area of this little rectangle right here and this little rectangle here. Add them together. That's the whole rectangle. 16v plus 40. Okay. Don't get confused. This isn't geometry. This is just to help you kind of understand how the distributive property works. Just think of them as boxes and you multiply this number, these numbers together and these numbers together. There we go. All right, let's do another example. So find the missing values in the area model to find three and in parentheses 2f minus 10. So we know that three times 2f, we're gonna multiply three times two, which gives us six. Keep the f, you keep that variable, three f, and we know that 3 times negative 10 is going to give us negative 30. 
So our final answer is going to be 6 F minus 30. 6 F minus 30. Okay, so after we distribute through here, we get 6 F minus 30. So just think right here. We have 3 times 2 F. All right, that gives us 6 F right here. 3 times negative 10 gives us negative 30. Okay, so again, I hope that this square model up top right here is helping you out. I'll do one more example with this square model or rectangle model. So again, find the missing values in the area model to find 9 times 6w minus 1. Okay, so this one right here, this is a little bit different. Um, we are not looking for a, uh, a value. Uh, rather, we're trying to figure out what this might be for this second half. Okay, so we know that 9 times 6w, 9 times 6 is 54. Keep the w. Okay, I'm going to multiply this coefficient times this constant, keep the variable. All right, and now we see 9 times what? 9 times what gives us negative 9? Okay, so if we want to, we can just take negative 9, divide that by 9. Remember the inverse operations here, so negative 9 divided by 9. That will give us negative 1. There we go. So according to the area model above, so this right here is going to be equal to 54w minus 9. So 54w minus 9. Okay. This next example does not have those rectangles set up for us. Um, so let's first do this old-fashioned way here. So we got 10 times 6r, and we also need to distribute the 10 into the 7. Okay, let's do that off to the side over here. So 10 times 6r is going to give us 60r plus 10 times 7 is going to give us 70. So you can follow the, the, the color coding of the arrows. So we got the purple arrow, when it's 6R, 10 times 6R is going to give us 60R. And this yellow arrow, 10 times 7, is going to give us 70. And that's as simple as it gets right there. Um, if you'd like to, I would suggest us trying this out. Let's draw our own little rectangles. Right here, we've got 6R and plus 7. Then we have 10 right here. Let's think, 6R times 10 is going to give us 60R. 10 times 7 is going to give us 70. So we got 6R plus 70 is our answer. Same thing, either way you want to do it. Uh, I think that this rectangle idea might be a good idea to start off, though. So our final answer is going to be 60R plus 70. 60R plus 70. Now we're distributing it again in through here. Okay. So we've got negative 2 times v, which is going to be negative 2v. <coughs> Remember, if there's no coefficient in front of a variable, um, it is 1. The 1 is the coefficient. You don't need to write it there. Um, negative 4v. So we have negative 2 times, or w, I mean, negative 2 times negative 4w. Remember, we have negative times a negative, so we got plus now, plus 8w. Okay, negative 2 times 6. Negative 2 times 6, I mean negative 12. So there's our answer. Again, if you want to use this rectangle method, might be a good idea while we're starting out. We've got negative 2 up front, we've got v right here, negative 4w right here, and 6. Negative 2 times v is negative 2v. Negative 2 times negative 4w is going to be 8w. All right, negative 2 times 6 is going to be negative 12. Again, same answer, just different methods. 
So our final answer will be negative 2b plus 8w minus 12. So that is our video on the distributive property. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something.